hi guys in today's tutorial we'll be talking about painting and uh, we'll be making use of Revit 2023 so as you can see this is a, a rendered uh, view of this particular structure as we can see here now this is a realistic view and this is a rendered view so currently i already modeled a a particular simple structure so we will be using this particular uh, model for our tutorial so painting itself is has a shortcut beauty that is shortcut for paint or you come under this modify and then click on this um drop this arrow and click paint it will bring out this now looking where you find that most of what will always what will always appear here if this is a fresh work will always be the default materials so assuming okay now let's just do one or two things so assuming i want to make use of this uh warping tool all you need to do is click on it and then come outside and then select the words you want to click maybe use this right again so but what if uh, the butler uh, paint you are looking for is not I mean the work coverage is not uh, is not here what you need to do is let me close this come to this manage come to manage and come to this material so maybe what i'll do i'll come to this create new and then click on this asset asset browser it will come up this way go back to this graphics and take this use render appearance so click on this and then come back to this appearance remember we are not in true well our target is the appearance after rendering so um my interest is not here for now so i'll come to this appearance now you will now come to this particular place under this appearance library click on this and then check maybe you are looking for um maybe mercenary under this maybe you want to pick up brick so that you, when you come down here you see so many types of bricks you see so many types of bricks okay let me take this back now assuming i maybe i let me just pick randomly assuming i pick this now there are so many settings you need to do for each of these things that you pick it always come with each different settings you see so let me assume i pick this particular one the initial one we have four settings here or like when we click something of this uh, nature where we have even the reflectivity transparency and cut out and so many other things bumps so but when you assume for this for this sake of this tutorial we won't be going deep into this so let me shift this assuming you want to increase the size of uh, this brickwork maybe you want it to appear in a larger form you can always change the size from this sample size now meanwhile there are other settings which you, you can do here even the brightness and so much so on and so so assuming this is what we want you can click ok now the next thing you need to do is to change the name of this uh, material maybe let's call this uh sorry brick brick wall okay so you now hit apply so but let me assume we need another type of wall you need to create a new wall again now maybe um you now remember to always take this render use render appearance so maybe we want to use a wall paint in this case wall paint wall paint yep maybe this is what we want just not adjust this like this assuming this is what we want now you can always do your changes depending on what you want so when you must have done this you now change maybe uh rename this to um maybe 
okay let me I, I, I don't know the name of this color so let me just pick uh let me assume black i think this one is better for me so i can now rename this as a uh, black rename black sorry black wall now you hit apply and then you say okay so when you now come back under this modifier you'll find that that under under this paint you'll find out that those two uh materials new material we created will appear here first of all let's type the black and see and see whether it is here so look at it a black wall then the second one was the brick the brick so as you can see this is wall brick which we created so maybe I, if i want to make use of this wall brick i can come to this place click and tick if i want to use the black maybe um sorry if i want to use the okay the black wall maybe i will now maybe use it under this place ordinarily your the texture might not show the painting the how it will appear after rendering will not you will notice it much here until you must have carried out your rendering now remember this is under realistic if you put it under shade it will look in this it will come back to this form but realistic gives you a little bit idea on how it will look like after rendering then again assuming i want to change maybe this roofing material i can go back to manage maybe come back to this create new then uh under this place graphics tick use render appearance and combat appearance now assuming you are looking for roof roofing material this is roofing and then let me just pick uh randomly okay let us just use this now let me increase the the size the sample size okay maybe uh okay this is not bad let me just say three five okay say okay then you will now change this rename maybe call it roof roof main because i think i have under roof material roofing material so you now say okay or hit apply okay so that when i come back under this modify i'll be able to come to this paint and then when i type roof roof main okay i'll see to this place so that i can now change my roofing material so finally when i want to now uh, render this particular work it will now give me the final picture of what i have been what i want you also need to take into consideration the effect on of sun on paint because if i should own this my sun part you know okay if I should on this my sun part and I come to this particular like, settings, maybe change this thing to steel and click apply, you will find out that if the color which you which happens to be red will be somehow hazy, so that so many things will change. If I also maybe change this one to maybe or uh, this to AM, you also find out that so many things will also change. A red in one project might have different intensity in other projects you know so that's another thing to consider you open up this butler uh drawing if you want to apply paint on this butler um this butler case work you will find out that it will be very it, it will be very very hard like look at what i mean as you mean oh come on come up as you mean i want to apply this butler um maybe oh let me assume i want to apply this on this case work you find out that it will not be possible but i can easily apply it on this you see so but for you to apply it on this case work you know is going to be very hard this parapet you can't apply it just directly so what will you do in this case when you want to make this parapet this case work to change from white to another color 
let me control z this okay now what we do will be to select the parapet itself now the concrete fascia select the concrete fascia if you select this concrete fascia for you to change the color you will now come to this edit so when you come to this edit this way you can now comfortably apply the paint so assuming uh okay now hitting on paint and then maybe let me just for clearer view let me use this circle <laughs> don't be don't i just i just want to show you something so this is a grass here you know so i just want to show you something so i can now easily apply it this way uh then come on okay so i just want to leave it this way so when i hit finish okay you find out that the color will retain just know that whenever you have any form of casework any modded elements in this kind you might not be able to apply the paint directly you will need to or uh, to click under the second editing level that way you must have clicked the edit this at this level will be when you will be able to apply the paint so i just let me control z this and likewise you can also remove the paint I assume you want to remove this paint and uh, you are under this modify you can remove this paint by this just the same way you normally remove the paint okay then this just it so I can now hit okay in case you want to remove the paint also I assume you don't like this particular paint maybe you don't like this red or you don't like this particular uh, color I want to remove it what will you do what will you do with it to come to this remove paint and then when you come to this place you can now remove it meanwhile I, if i want to check the name of maybe i forgot the name of this particular paint and i want to check the name i'll just come close to this particular wall it will give me the name painted with wall paint too so that I mean if I want to apply this paint to this place, there might be no need trying to throw and be checking the which particular color resembles this. If I come to this place and see it as wall paint 2, what I will now come I will now do will be to type wall paint. Okay, two. I think wall paint two day is it. So I will now come to this place and now change it. So and I think um, okay let me go back to paint this is wall paint 2 this is wall paint 2 painted with yes so these two the the same so this is just basically how to add paint and also how to remove paint one extra thing I want to one extra thing I want to show you maybe assuming uh, you don't like maybe the texture how maybe it's not glossy i want to change maybe this color let me assume this wall paint is the one we want to change it's the texture now we will, we have already known the name to be wall paint too we will come back to manage go back to material okay come back to this material and type and search for the uh, for the name of that particular paint this is wall paint paint too so this is it so when i now select it i can now change uh maybe maybe let me just change the color to this i say okay and then uh maybe use uh gloss to verify and then maybe change this to roller very fine so i hit apply remember it will affect yeah, I will just leave it. It will already change the appearance, the color. Uh, it will, you see, it has already reflected here. Now I will now say okay. So you see, the way it was appearing has already changed. This is this was control Z. This is how it was. Now this is how currently it is. Meanwhile, I want also to show you something. When you come back to this material. I should mean maybe I want to make use of uh, tile. Let me use, let me create a new material. And uh, maybe I want to bring in tiles. 
change this to render appearance go back okay under flooring stone okay and then i make use of um, let me just tell as well okay very fine as you mean i have this and uh, maybe i like maybe the texture but i don't like the way i don't like the paint itself if you highlight if you click this thing and maybe change the paint maybe to this now for example i say okay this will not still change the color of this particular material will not change to this particular color so what will you do what we'll do is to reduce make this image fade now the more you adjust this the more the, this color comes out so what you just need to do is to adjust this and it will give you the particular color you want but when it is under this nature you can never get this particular color no matter how much you change how many times you change it it will not give you the, this particular color so all you need to do is to just adjust this image fade and then the color will start changing so that is also another thing to note likewise that of roof um you can always work on the roof itself maybe if you want to change the roof itself you can always change it i don't have okay i have a roofing roof here so so what you need to do next is now to finally render it remember this is under realistic so you can change it to shaded if you want depending so realistic just gives you a closer look of how it will look like after rendering so when you now render it this way uh maybe okay render let me use region okay then maybe we are making use of customized image we are using this okay remember i'm just picking a um, random image you know so this is what you want okay very fine so what you need to do next is now to click maybe please this and then click render after you must have finished setting doing your settings you know like depending on what you want you now say okay so when you now click render it will now render the work uh just really small time for it to finish rendering so this is what we have for the rendered work itself so but don't mind how it looks like don't mind how it looks like there are so many other things to consider you know um as regards this rendering there are so many other things to consider so but that is just by the way you know that is by the way So, this is what we now have in itself as our final rendering. In this other case here, after rendering, we had this. You know, so, it's something you just gradually get to get acquainted with. So, that will be the end of our class. Oh, thank you. In my next tutorial, I will deal on this, um, on these properties we have here reflectivity transparency so i will just wait for my next tutorial i will deal extensively on this you know because this is very important in rendering you understand for you to get what you want in rendering you need to understand how these are being applied